Good evening, everyone. I'm Rudy Trevino. Thank you so much for being with us. We begin tonight with what we're learning about a natural gas leak two miles off the coast of Padre Island near Bob Hall Pier. The Coast Guard tonight saying the leak is coming from an offshore unmanned rig. Many of your neighbors on the island saying they could hear the roar from the rush of the natural gas as early as four o'clock this morning. The well still leaking at this time. Our Ashley Gonzalez standing by live tonight near Bob Hall Pier with the very latest on efforts to shut the well off. That's right, Rudy. The well is still leaking. I'm going to go ahead and step out of the frame so you can see for yourself so we can zoom in for you. You'll notice the waves are a bit rough right now. The U.S. Coast Guard says that's why they cannot send a boat out to shut off the well. I spoke with Fire Chief Dale Scott of ESD number two, who says the choppy waters made it unsafe for his crew to even attempt getting near the rig. Here's what he had to say. What they're doing instead is sending out a helicopter to do a flyover with the general land office to assess the situation. The findings of that assessment are not in just yet, but for now, the well continues to leak, sending out white smoke billing out. Neighbors say they first noticed the leak around 4.50 a.m. when they heard a loud engine-like sound coming from the beach. You, I don't know if you can hear, but from where my photog and I are standing, you can just hear the roar. I don't know if you can hear. I'm going to go ahead and just let you listen. You may be wondering about the white smoke. TCEQ officials and the Coast Guard have been monitoring pollution levels all day, and they say they have not detected any pollution stemming from the well. Even though there is no pollution currently being detected, officials send out a safety warning for mariners telling them not to get within 1,000 feet of the well. If you live in Corpus Christi, you also received a reverse alert on your cell phone this morning alerting the situation. We'll have the latest coming up on 3 News at 6. Reporting live, Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.